Hello and welcome to RTC TV. I'm here at The Moose with Gloria Carvey. She's going to be talking to us today about Lake Fest as she is one of the 13 board members. How are you? Oh, I am just fine on this beautiful day today. And uh, we're all excited about getting ready for Lake Fest, which is going to be next Saturday, July 9th. Well, hopefully the weather is just as beautiful, maybe even more beautiful oh, next yeah. weekend. A little warmer might be nice, right, yes. <laughs> but uh, uh, we don't want it too hot. And, uh, and of course, uh, Lake Fest is going to start off right here at the Moose at 7.30 in the morning for a 5K run. Okay. And uh, it's um, actually registrations at 7.30. The race, or the I should say walk race, <laughs> is, is going to be uh, at 8.30. And um, it's our fourth year for doing the 5k run. And what events will take place throughout the day? We start off, like you said, bright and early with a run walk, and then what happens next? Then we are going to do something new this year. Uh, we're going to have a youth uh, fishing um, clinic. It is going to be over at the race by the hospital, okay. and it's for ages 6 through 12. And uh, what they'll be doing is the Bass Masters will be helping out to uh, get the kids it's hooked on fishing. I we like really, that. we really love that <laughs> because we want to instill in the children about the proper way to bait a hook, about mm -hmm. take a fish off the hook, and get them excited into uh, a lifelong passion for fishing. And uh, the. Uh, John Cook, the DNR officer, is going to be there to tell him about the rules and regulations about fishing. And it's going to be a wonderful time for kids. And uh, they'll, they'll be bringing along an adult to, to help them out. And, uh, um, and I'm excited because I'm going to be with my grandson. Of so <laughs> That does sound good. Yes. Like you said, a lifelong activity. They can learn, learn at a young age. And with any activity, it is important to go through rules and regulations. And some people may think, oh, it's just fishing, but when you're around water, Water and hooks, it can always be dangerous. Oh, absolutely. And those little flying lines, <laughs> you want to get them exactly. under control. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that's going to be really fun. And then um, that evening is our, our largest fundraiser for the Lake Manitou Association. And it's uh, it's our party. And it's going to start off at 6 o'clock. And uh, here, again, at the Moose, uh, 6 to 7 will be kind of our um, happy hour, so to speak. It's also our auction preview because we're going to be having a live auction. Um, we're also having a dinner at seven o'clock. Uh, Giretti's will be catering this dinner oh, so great. it's going to be wonderful. They do a great job yes. and uh, so from seven to eight will be the uh, dinner and then at eight o'clock we'll start the auction and uh, again these items will be all going to um, help out the treasury of the Lake Manitou Association and uh, uh, then our big deal of the day is the $15,000 raffle. Wow. And that is a big deal. <laughs> uh, and we've kind of divided it up. We used to have one big pot, and uh, or we would have a pontoon boat that mm -hmm. we would give away. But what we do, the, uh, we've done this for the last couple of years, is we have five $1,000 winners, and we have two $5,000 winners. Oh, wow. So that kind of breaks it up so yep. that more people can uh, participate participate and uh, so and the raffle uh, the tickets for the raffle are available um, they're available here at the Moose mm -hmm. uh, Rochester Boat Company um, Timberwolf um, uh, which is uh, out on 14 um, and um, Hmm, did I say Rochester Glass Company? I don't think so. Okay, Rochester Glass Company. They're, they're all selling uh, tickets and of course board members are also. Um, our dinner for the dinner is $25 and uh, you can get those tickets from Rochester Boat Company and Bonnie Moss. Okay. And uh, Bonnie is our treasurer and uh, she's uh, also one of the co-chairs for the Lake Fest. Okay. Now, and I should also mention that the party just doesn't end with that raffle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> After the raffle, we we want people to either get in their boats or in their cars, go over to the Elks, okay. because we are going to have a sentimental journey, and actually that's a band, and oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and it is a twenties uh, type music, um, and it's kind of like what was 
played in the big band era and uh, on the all the hotels that were on the lake and so we're going to go over there we'll have 50 50 raffle and uh, we will continue on and we're calling that the after party oh, okay. <laughs> okay so a full evening it, of events it sounds like not only a full evening a full day so with this 20s theme would you suggest people come in their finest 20 outfits to oh, celebrate absolutely bring out those uh, flapper dresses yes. and those boas <laughs> and, and uh, we will have for sale at the lake fest um, headbands and uh, feathers and boas oh, no. and uh, hats fedoras for the gentlemen uh, just for fun yeah. uh, again that was the heyday of the lake was the 1920s and yep. 30s and uh, we again want to try to relive that and uh, take a walk back in time <laughs> absolutely that sounds like a lot of fun is there anything else you gave us a lot of information anything else you want to add for the big events next week oh um, actually um, I want to let everyone know that the Lake Manitou Association is a uh, a wonderfully um, it's, a, it's just a wonderful organization and it, it helps to support the lake and we are as much about education as anything and, and uh, uh, we want to keep the health of the lake good and that's why we do this fundraiser mm -hmm. um, we have had for the last decade a problem with a, a very noxious weed called hydrilla and yeah. we think we're about to get rid of it and so now what we would we want to work on water clarity too and and we want to make this lake good for fishing and we want to make it also good for all the entertainment the the boating and jet skiing and everything else that goes on on the lake so help support us through the lake manitou association's lake fest and come out and have a good time absolutely you're exactly right keeping the lake clean keeps the community clean to have a little pride about rochester i think helping the lake is just a good step in that mm -hmm. direction so thank you for all this information we hope to see everyone out at lake fest this next weekend yes. thank you for talking to us and all that you do with lake fest and the lake manitou association okay well thank you very much for having me